Hi everyone, I'm Linda Reimer, one of the librarians at the Southeast Deben County Library. Welcome to Library Connections, our weekly readers, viewers, and listeners advisory video cast. Enjoy. Library Connections number 65. This is the Friday, August 13th, 2021 edition of Library Connections. Library Connections videos premiere on Facebook Fridays at 1 p.m. and they may also be found on the Southeast Dumaine County Library's YouTube page. Kicking things off with the top five fiction bestsellers of this week from the New York Times. At number one, Billy Summers by Stephen King. A killer for a hire who only takes out bad guys, seeks redemption as he does one final job. At number two, The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. Hannah Hall discovers truths about her missing husband and bonds with his daughter from a previous relationship. At number three, Blind Tiger by Sandra Brown. During Prohibition, Thatcher Hutton and Laurel Plummer wind up on opposite sides of a moonshine war in Texas. Sounds dramatic. At number five, It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. A battered wife raised in a violent home attempts to halt the cycle of abuse. And at number five, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. Opposites Poppy and Alex meet to vacation together one more time in hopes of saving their relationship. Moving on to the top five nonfiction bestsellers for this week, at number one, American Marxism by Mark R. Levin. The Fox News host gives his take on the Green New Deal, critical race theory, and social activism. At number two, here, Right Matters by Alexander Vindman. The retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel recounts his actions that led to the impeachment of President Trump and his testimony before Congress. At number three, I Alone Can Fix It by Carol Lenig and Philip Rucker. The Pulitzer Prize winning reporters examined Trump's final year in office with a focus on the key players around him. At number four, The Body Keeps the Score by Bessel van der Kolk. How trauma affects the body and mind and innovative treatments for recovery. And at number five, The Premonition by Michael Lewis. Stories of skeptics who went against the official response of the Trump administration to the outbreak of COVID-19. The profiles include a local public health officer and a group of doctors nicknamed the Wolverines. Before I jump into our recommended reads for the week, I have to note that I actually create this presentation, this video, before the New York Times bestsellers are published on Thursdays. So my two recommended reads for this week also appear on the New York Times top five bestsellers for this week. Having given you that little send up, my first recommended read for this week is the new Sandra Brown novel, Blind Tiger. If you like historical fiction, this is gonna be a good one to read. Let me tell you a little about the plot. Set in 1920, this superior thriller from bestseller Brown 
firmly anchors all the action in the plot. Laurel Plummer, the mother of an infant, is stuck in a remote shack living with her father-in-law near the little town of Foley, Texas, after the sudden death of her WW1 vet husband. Thatcher Hutton, a discharged soldier who's just leapt off a boxcar, turns up at the plumber place asking for water and directions to the nearest town. His first night in a Foley boarding house, Thatcher is awakened by a gun barrel jammed against his cheekbone and an accusation that he kidnapped and possibly murdered Myla Driscoll, the local doctor's missing wife. After Thatcher is released from jail for lack of evidence, the sheriff makes him a part-time deputy and he sets out to find the truth behind Myla's disappearance. Meanwhile, Laurel, who's in dire financial straits, helps her father-in-law expand his moonshining business. Conflict ensues as the two wind up on opposite sides of the law. Laurel and Thatcher are strong and inventive characters and their surprising decisions and evolving relationship will keep readers engaged. Brown shows why she remains in the top rank of her field. And that is the Starred Publishers Weekly Review. And that one's definitely going on my reading list. I do love historical fiction. Our second recommended read of the week is the brand new Stephen King novel, Billy Summers. And here's the overview of the plot. One last job? Again? But when even the fictional character embarking on that last job is aware he's trapped in a trope, you know you're in for something different. How different? King has multiple novels in play here, a thriller, at least two coming-of-age stories, and a knockout road novel. And he knits them together beautifully, never missing a stitch. Billy Summers is a former Marine sniper who, like Max Allen Collins's query, only hits bad guys. Billy wants out of the game, but he needs a stake. The job requires lead time, during which Billy poses as a writer and finds that he likes it. He's good, too, as we find ourselves totally drawn into the tale of Billy's dysfunctional family, his years in a juvenile detention home, and his experiences during the Iraq War. That's plenty, but there's much more. Laying low after the hit, and after he realizes he's been tapped as a fall guy, Billy saves college student Alice, a rape victim, and the two hit the road, driving cross-country to Denver, where Billy gathers info from his former handler, a wonderfully realized grandfatherly outlaw, and begins to track down the bad guys behind the frame. More road trips follow. As Alice emerges as a scene-stealing heroine on her own coming-of-age journey, King has never been better than he is here at wrapping readers into a propulsive, mini-tentacled narrative, complete with a perfectly orchestrated, moving ending. And that is the starred booklist review. And that one, too, is going on my reading list. I'll read it just as soon as I finish the book club read for the month, which I will have to do soon because the book club is Friday. Moving along to our first audiobook recommendation of the week, I'm going to recommend a novel on audiobook form, of course, by Laura Griffin, 
This is called Desperate Girls. It's actually from 2018, but if you haven't already listened to it, this is a cool one, so check it out. The escape of a serial killer coincides with the brutal murder of a judge, formerly an attorney, who originally put him away. And everyone involved goes on high alert. Yet, when defense attorney Bryn Holleran's boss hires a high-powered bodyguard agency to protect her, she rebels. No way will she let anyone keep her from defending her innocent client, no matter how dangerous it gets or how appealing her totally hot keeper, Eric Morgan, proves to be. A stubborn to a fault, justice-driven heroine, and a hero pledged to protect her discover passion and a romantic thriller that keeps the action lively and everyone guessing with more than one unexpected twist. Verdict. Taunt. Seamlessly planned and emotionally intense, Griffin's latest draws readers in and keeps them on edge in an adrenaline-fueled story that despite a title that doesn't quite fit, delivers a rewarding, chilling read. That is the Library Journal Review, and as I mentioned, the book originally came out in 2018, so the review is from 2018 too, but if you're looking for a romantic thriller, check that one out. Our second audiobook recommendation of the week is the historical novel, The Willow Wren by Philip Schott. The touching and nuanced portrait of the rise and fall of Nazi Germany through the eyes of a resourceful German boy. Ludwig is an odd and introverted child growing up in Hitler's Germany. While Ludwig's father Wilhelm is a senior Nazi and a true believer, Ludwig escapes the unfolding catastrophe by withdrawing into nature and books. Eventually, when the Allied bombing campaign intensifies, Ludwig is sent to a Hitler youth camp where his oddness makes him a target for bullying. As the war turns against Germany, the Hitler youth camp becomes ever more severe and militaristic, and the atmosphere spirals towards chaos. After the Nazis abandon the camp, Ludwig returns home, and his father is presumed dead. With Ludwig's mother descending into depression, the 11-year-old bears increasing responsibility for the survival of the family as starvation sets in under Russian occupation. Soon, it will be impossible to leave the Russian zone. So Ludwig decides that he must rally his despondent mother and lead her and his three younger siblings in an escape attempt to the West. Based on a true story, the Willow Wren is a unique, touching exploration of extremism resilience, and the triumph of the small. So there's another great historical fiction title. Seem to be on a roll with historical fiction this week. Next week I'll see if I can't focus more on general fiction titles. But if you like historical fiction, can't go wrong with The Willow Wren. And our first streaming recommendation for this week is the Netflix series Lupin, created by George K. and starring Omar C. Ludivine Sangier and Hervé Pierre, and as I said, you can stream it from Netflix. Omar C. stars in this French mystery thriller series about a master thief who seeks to steal back the necklace his father was falsely accused of stealing. 
The series also doesn't waste a single minute packing each and every moment full of suspense. Put all of that together and it's an early front runner to steal a spot as one of the best shows of the year, according to Karen Hahn of Slate. And that is the CBS overview of the series. So if you like mysteries, check out Lupin. Our second streaming recommendation for this week is the series Money Heist, which just dropped its third season. You can watch this through Amazon Prime Video and of course Apple TV Video too. This series was created by Alex Pina and it stars Ursula Corbero, Alverna Morte, and Izar Ituno. This pulse-pounding Spanish thriller became the most watched non-English series of all time in 2020. It follows the mysterious professor and his eight-person team as they execute two complex heists. Each of the first three seasons received a perfect 100% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. That is the CBS overview, and this series does have Spanish dialogue with English subtitles, just like the first recommended watch has French dialogue and English subtitles. Just FYI if subtitles are not your thing. And moving along. And our Hoopla recommendation for this week is also a TV series. It's the newly released first season of the Norwegian series Wisting. The best Nord nor ever. This acclaimed series follows a homicide detective tracking an American serial killer hiding in his community with the help of an American FBI agent. Basically, when an old case comes back to haunt Whistling, how will he save others when he finds himself suspended and fighting for his reputation? career, and life. And yes, indeed, the main character's name is Wisting. But that's a cool Nora series. Check it out. If you have questions about this weekly video cast, send me an email. My email address is rhymerl at stls.org, and I'll get back to you. That's R-E-I-M as in Mary, E-R-L at stls.org. And a note about library hours, currently we're open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and we're closed on Sundays. The library's website, which offers a whole host of information about the library, upcoming programs and services, can be found at ssclibrary.org. StarCat and its companion app, BookMine. StarCat is the catalog of physical library materials available to all card holders of the public libraries in the Southern Tier Library System, better known as STLS. The system encompasses all the public libraries in Steuben, Chemung, Yates, Schuyler, and Allegheny Counties. You can find StarCat online at StarCat stls.org or you can download the bookmine app from your app store and bookmine is spelled b-o-o-k-m-y like my and e the digital catalog and its companion app libby through the digital catalog and the libby app you can check out ebooks downloadable audiobooks and a handful of streaming videos the digital catalog is found online, stls.overdrive.com. Alternately, you can download the Libby app, that's L-I-B-B-Y, to your mobile device. And you can also check out ebooks and send them to your dedicated e-reader, like a Kindle Paperwhite, through either the digital catalog online or the app, if you wish to do so. Hoopla. The Hoopla catalog features ebooks, comic books, full-length albums, downloadable audiobooks, and streaming videos, including both TV shows and movies. All Hoopla items are available for instant checkout 
for Southeast Demand County Library cardholders with a maximum of six checkouts per month. You can find the Hoopla catalog online at hoopladigital.com or download the Hoopla app to your mobile device or smart TV. Communicating with the library. If you have questions about library materials or services or anything else library wise, you are welcome to go the traditional route and simply give us a call. The library's phone number is area code 607-936-3713. Again, that's area code 607-936-3713. You can also connect with the library via social media. The library has pages on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Library blogs, we have five of them. We have the Book Club for Adults blog, which is found at ssclbook.club and offers information on, you guessed it, the monthly Book Club for Adults. We have the Corning NY History blog, which offers weekly postings showing photos of our area way back in the day. We have the Creation Stationery blog, which is the companion blog to the library's makerspace. So there's creative postings there. We have Story Musings, a blog hosted by the library's resident author and head of adult services, Michelle Wells. That one's found at storymusing.blogspot.com. And then Tech and Book Talk, a readers, viewers, and listeners advisory blog with occasionally helpful how-to tech tips thrown in. That's found at ssctech.com. And briefly, here are references of the week. And that's the program for this week. I'll be back next week with a new edition of Library Connections. And we hope next week is a cooler one. I know I certainly do. Have a good weekend.